So you're heading out to of the office for a business function and you realize you really don't want to miss any calls while you're out. In the past, you'd forward your extension calls to your cell phone. But wait, now that you have 3CX phone system, there's a much, much better way. I'm Mike with Iron Logics, and this is 3CX Soft Phone app for the iPhone. I did create another video almost identical to this one for the Android. Conceptually, the app on both phones is the same, but they do function differently, and truth be told, the iPhone version is, for now, not as feature-rich. Don't worry, I made this video super special, just for you special iOS kind of people. Most phone system users are familiar with the concept of forwarding your desk phone extension to your cell phone. While you certainly can do that, there are several reasons why that's not a good idea. So let's say you're forwarding your extension to your cell. When you get that call, you're typically going to call that person back from your cell. That caller now has your personal cell phone number to call you back on day, nights, holidays, and weekends. For some of you, that might not be a big deal, but for others, it certainly might be. With 3CX soft phone app, calls you make or take always appear as if they originated from inside the office. That means the number your customer gets is the main office number or specific company DID assigned to you. DID means direct dial number in case you aren't familiar with that term. With the old forwarding model, I'm sure you noticed that over time your customers started calling your cell number before they called the office. This can result in some confusion with how best to get in touch with you or cause disconnects because there's no efficient way to forward a caller from your cell back to somebody else in the company. Taking this a step further, should you or an employee leave the company, your customers will most likely continue calling someone who is no longer with the organization and that can create all kinds of issues. Again, this may not be a big deal for some, but I'm a big fan of simplicity and giving your clients one number that's always tied to the business keeps it simple for everyone involved. As if that's not reason enough, forwarding calls to your cell phone occupies two voice lines, one for the call into the office, the other for the call out to your cell. I won't go into technical detail as to why this is, but if you're in a small office environment, you're typically limited in the amount of voice line capacity you have, so tying up two of those lines might be a big deal. With 3CX soft phone, one call only takes up one line because the outgoing call to your mobile uses the internet data or data network to reach you and not take up another voice line. Now having said all this, you might be thinking, ah, it doesn't matter, I'll just forward my calls to my cell phone like always. If that's you and that's okay, just know that you're probably a horrible person and I would like you to continue watching the video anyway. For the rest of you, let's go over the objectives of the training. By the end of this video, you'll be able to understand the key concepts of the 3CX soft phone, Download, install, and configure the 3CX soft phone. Understand how to use the soft phone app. And then finally, manage your presence and call flow using the 3CX soft phone app. So let's get started. I've already covered the why as far as 3CX soft phone goes. But from a conceptual standpoint, the most important thing you need to understand is that the soft phone app is your actual extension and not something you forward your extension to. Think of it like this. Your extension, in my case extension 206, can be provisioned to one or multiple devices at the same time. So in my example, I have a desk phone and a soft phone app on my Samsung and another soft phone on my computer. These are simply known as endpoints and they are all provisioned with my extension 206. This means when you call my extension, I'm able to take that call on any device I choose without setting up any kind of complex forwarding or enabling special any kind of special features. You do not have to have all the devices active at the same time. I'll go over that in just a bit, but from a conceptual standpoint, I really need you to understand how your extension can be represented on any one or multiple endpoint devices. This also means that if I wanted to just use the soft phone to be my extension and not have a desk phone at all, I can certainly do that too. One of the things I wanted to do right off the bat here is eliminate concerns with regard to data usage. I have my soft phone app enabled on my Android and it uses about one to two gigabytes of mobile data per month. This will vary based on how much work you do when you're connected to Wi-Fi. So when you're on your Wi-Fi, your calls will typically go over that connection and not your mobile data plan. If your call volume is heavy and you do most of your work while connected only to your mobile data plan, keep an eye on your usage at least weekly until you're comfortable with how much data you're consuming. Make sure you avoid running up any overage charges. I can tell you some nightmare stories about some 13-year-olds and their YouTube obsessions, but I'm not even going to go there. Trust me, you really don't want to hit overage charges. So now it's time to get the app from the App Store, but before we do that, let's make sure we have what we need to make it work. Let's switch over to your email app, and what we're looking for is the 3CX welcome email that should have been sent to you when you got started with the 3CX phone system. 
If you don't have it or can't find it, that's not a problem. Just ask your system admin to resend it to you. It's really easy. Go ahead and pause the video until you have that up. Once you have the email, you're looking for the 3CX web client section. The web client has a QR code for your extension and we'll be using that to provision your smartphone. Go ahead and click the link for the web client from the email and then sign in using the credentials provided from that email under the web client section. This is the web client. Now, before you go around and start clicking all around in here and playing all around, I do go over this in a completely separate video called Web Client Forwarding Extension Management. I highly recommend you check it out after this to teach you all about this tool. But for now, just stay with me and in the top right, click that silhouette person silhouette button over here. And what we're looking for is this scan QR code option right here. What that's going to do is that's going to bring up the QR code that we're going to use to provision your smartphone on your iPhone. We're going to go ahead and leave the QR code box up and let's go get the free app. Go ahead and go to the app store, search for 3CX and tap get for the 3CX soft phone app. Once it's finished downloading, click open and the 3CX soft phone app will open up. It's immediately going to start popping up notifications asking if you're going to allow it to do certain things. Go ahead and allow all that. At the same time, it's going to want to scan that QR code right away. Just be patient click allow for those things that it wants to have access to and then back in the main screen in the lower right we're going to touch more then touch QR provisioning. The camera's going to pop up and then you're going to take a picture of that QR code that we saved from earlier. When you return to the main screen your phone should be provisioned which is indicated by a green box in the top right corner and then right underneath that you should see something like available or on hook. So your app should now look similar to this. In the top right corner you may see the phone displaying initializing or registering. What you're looking for is for it to report that it's on hook, meaning your phone is connected and you're ready to make and receive calls. Now this is very important. If your phone does not display on hook and it seems to be stuck at registering or initializing, there may be a configuration issue and it's time to call in some technical support. Please keep in mind that you also need to check this again when you return to or leave the office for the very first time. From a technical standpoint, things in the background have to be configured properly for the soft phone to work both inside and then again outside the office. So once you set up the app, be sure to check your status inside and outside the office just once for each. If it works once, it should always work from that point forward. If, however, it doesn't work, get support. If we set up your system, simply call us or email support at ironlogics.com. If you have another provider or have internal IT support, please reach out to them for assistance. So, assuming your phone shows on hook, let's continue. As I mentioned previously, your soft phone app is just another endpoint of your extension. When your extension rings, it should ring all assigned endpoints at the same time. So now your extension goes where you do. If you happen to be in the office and both of your phones ring, you can answer either of them, but not both. So choose one if they're sitting next to each other. One of the coolest features of 3CX is the ability to take your extension wherever you go, day or night. Having said that, one of the most uncool features of the soft phone is the ability to take your extension wherever you go, day or night, especially when you don't want it interfering in your personal time. So for most of you, this now immediately means you want to shut the phone off on the app and you want to go over that right now. First, I need you to understand what the concept of off actually is with regard to this app and your extension. My goal is to not confuse you and make this overly complicated, trust me, I really don't like doing that. But as an end user, you should know how this app functions so it performs exactly the way you expect it to. The 3CX app works just like your email app does using push technology. This means when you close the app or switch to another one, the 3CX app will still run in the background and it will always be on waiting for a call, which is what it's supposed to do. So the only true way to make the soft phone not bother you is to change your status or turn the app off by either unregistering your extension or by rebooting your phone, which until you start the 3CX app again, will leave it off. Rebooting your phone every time you want the app to not work is really overkill and it's a pain in the butt and I don't suggest you do it. Uh, so let's uh, get in the, that kind of habit. Just know that when your phone reboots for any reason, like an iOS update or you're, you know, it crashes and you want to restart it, you're going to have to restart that 3CX phone app for th that thing to work. Since your extension by proxy your work now goes wherever you do, you want to adopt everyday new routines when it comes to controlling the always on behavior. The primary method of doing that is by habitually changing your presence whenever you change your work status. In the top right corner of your 3CX phone app, you should see a colored square. It should be green, which means your extension is set to available. If you tap that, you'll see another window popping all five status choices. 
It may take a couple of tries. Admittedly, the colored button is really small and it is a challenge to open, but, but trust me, it does work. If you tap away, your extension will follow the rules associated with your away status. The default away behavior is to not ring and send all calls to your voicemail. But that behavior can be modified by editing your call flow rules in the extension management. I do go over that in the web client video like I talked about earlier, so to be sure to check that out because I'm not going to go over that here. When you're ready to get back to work, simply follow the same process and then change your present status back to available and your calls will ring in again. Keep in mind the soft phone app is actually your extension, so setting your extension status here means you set it for your extension across all your endpoints and that's the key thing you need to understand. So since changing your status changes across all your endpoints, that's not going to work if you want to be available and ringing on your desk phone, but away and not ringing on the app. So to fix that, you're going to need to change the app itself. I know it's a weird concept, but trust me, once you get the hang of it, it's easy to manage. On your iPhone, this means you need to temporarily unregister your extension. To do that, tap the More button, followed by Settings, then Accounts, and then tap the radio button next to your account, clearing the box. This will unregister your extension from the app, effectively disabling it. Your app will remain in this disabled state until you go back in and reverse this process and then re-enable your extension by tapping that radio button next to your account. It's not difficult stuff to do and it may be a little awkward at first, but you do have to get in the habit of doing it effectively to use the app and maintain a healthy work-life balance. The buttons on the lower part of the app are fairly self-explanatory. You have your extension presence button to be able to see and contact your coworkers, your contacts, and of course the phone button which allows you to make and take calls, your recents which is your call history, and finally the more button which allows you to work with other options. Tap the phone button to return to the 3CX home screen and then the top right you're going to see some icons and other status indicators. Next to the color status indicator, the envelope button will take you to your unopened voicemails. If you don't see the envelope, that's indication you don't have any unread voicemail. Next to the voicemail indicator, we have the letter Q. This is for call cues, which is a call center feature. Blue means you're logged in, white means you're logged out. You can toggle your status simply by touching this icon. Lastly, you have the I button, which simply opens a browser and takes you to the 3CX user manual. You can view that if you want, but why would you when you have me and my awesome video to show you the ropes? From the More option, you can schedule audio conferencing. Schedule conferencing is extremely intuitive. Simply select the option and then follow the steps. I do cover conferencing, including video conferencing, in another video, so be sure to check that one out too. The next option is Chat. 3CX does include an instant messaging function for inter-office chat. You may already be using another chat application like Slack or Skype, and if you're happy with it, please continue to use that. Otherwise, the 3CX chat is here for your convenience. Voicemail is the next option. Tap that, and on the default screen, you can manage your voicemails. Simply tap one of your messages, and you'll be given options to play, mark unheard, or delete. Play on phone is an option you can try it out, but once you do, you want to be like all the cool kids and just use play. Now this is another area where Android users have a lot more functionality. I'm not going to tell you what they have that you don't, just because function envy is a very serious problem. Just know that Mike didn't write the 3CX soft phone app and that 3CX actually did. They're the ones you should be mad at. Recordings is the next option and that's for actual recorded conversation. You may or may not have the option for this and you may or may not have the option to listen to them even if they're there. Please check with your supervisor or system admin for more details on this feature. The next option is settings. You should not have to mess with these features much and doing so can disable your app from working properly. Be careful in here. If you're unsure, don't mess with it because if you break it, you're going to have to throw your phone in the garbage. I'm just kidding. Uh, however, you can change the theme from within this menu from black to white. If you happen to be one of the good guys, you can also go in here and change your ringtone if you don't like the default one. The remaining options we used earlier will only be used when troubleshooting the app's connection to the system. I know we covered a lot, but don't get intimidated. You can always refer back to this video at any time. The more you use the smartphone app, the more familiar you will be with its operation and it will become second nature to you. If you like this video, you'll love what we can do to make you more productive. Iron Logics is a proud 3CX partner. Give us the opportunity to help you. I promise we will not disappoint. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We add videos all the time, and it's always good to stay up to date with the latest and greatest from Iron Logics and 3CX. Thanks for watching.